more than 100 creative mornings. If Tim and Matt with Charlotte is Creative say someone has given one of the best performances, you know it is serious. And boy, are you about to learn firsthand this morning. Tim Miner is here this morning. You brought Maggie Lowe with you. How are you, friends? Doing great. Yeah, I'm great. Good, Tim. Okay, you and Matt both said, <laughs> Oh my gosh, our socks were knocked right off. Oh, I mean, holy cow. Like we, uh, Maggie got 30 seconds into their performance and I was like, <laughs> QC life. Like I, uh -huh. Charlotte needs to see Maggie. I mean, there was, it was an extremely emotional moment in a good way. We saw people uplifted. I mean, the, went through the whole gamut of emotions on the song that Maggie's gonna perform later. Um, it was just remarkable. I mean, and, and I know mental health is a big issue for Maggie, and that's something, creativity, music, you know, you talked about the inclusion rocks earlier. Yeah. Creativity and music is such a place for people to find each other, yep. but also find that peace and that, that, that time to stop and have a good inward journey. And mm. that was what Maggie took us on, and I was like, the crew has to see them perform. And for perspective, you've had some really darn good oh, it's performing at Creative Morning. Every every Creative Morning we have some live performance and there have been remarkable people. But I have to say this was one. Emmanuel Winter was yeah, one yeah. and we had him on. But Maggie was it was just like this has to happen. More people need to see their talent. Okay, well we're gonna make that happen today. Maggie, you are a unicorn, as we like to call them. You were born and raised here in North Carolina. I yeah? was, absolutely. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about your journey and how you got to where you are. Yeah. Uh, born and raised in Mount Erie, North Carolina, and uh, moved to Davidson. Um, I consider that moving to Charlotte yes. about five years ago. That sounds, people that's count good. me on that. <laughs> but, mm, uh, living in Pineville now, and um, yeah, in the past like year, music has just kind of popped off. I've made some good connections here in the city, and um, like Matt and Tim, yeah. and just been having a ball playing anywhere they'll let me, literally. Which is amazing. <laughs> Tell me what music is for you. When did it start for you and what it what does it do inside for you? Yeah, I always like to say I started writing in middle school and I started writing good songs in high school. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, it has always been a way for me to deal with things that are happening in my life. Mm -hmm. And my favorite thing about it is to write a song that helps me deal with something and then sing that in a space and get to watch it help somebody else through maybe a similar situation. Mm -hmm. And that's that's always the best part for me. I was reading through who your influences are. Sarah Bareilles, Ben Rector, Bonnie Raitt. I mean, all of these unbelievable artists. Is it, do you take bits and pieces or do you just, is it a feeling that you get from them that you want to then have an audience get from you? Right, I like to say that Sarah Bareilles and Ben Rector specifically, those are the people I want to be like spiritually. Uh -huh. So I want you to feel when you leave one of my shows the way I feel when I hear them do literally anything. Yes. And they could sing the phone book and that would be great for me. Uh -huh. uh, and the other ones are kind of who I pull from more musically. I do really like to play the blues and then I like acoustic folk stuff. So yeah, all those other artists that you mentioned. Are when you are on a stage and you say you, you want people to feel what, ha have an experience like you had writing the song. Yeah. Can you see that moment happening from the stage? I can yeah. with some people, yeah. yeah. And I have had a couple times this year people come up and quote my own songs back to me, which oh, has been oh, wow. really amazing and a little frightening. <laughs> but That's like in amazing. A good way, you know? In a really good way. <laughs> and now you're going to be on a very large stage. I am. Talk to me about this. Yeah, so I decided to take my little acoustic guitar and go audition to perform on the main stage at Charlotte Pride this year. Yes. And I apparently I did a good job because I'm going to be performing on the main stage of Charlotte Pride this year. Wh so. <laughs> Which is wild. I mean, when you yes. learned that, yep. did your jaw just hit the floor? It Were did. you so excited? It did. Absolutely. I was so stoked about it. Yeah. And how much does that mean to you, too, to be able to perform in that crowd in front of so much love and acceptance and all of that? Yeah. It's going to be like the highlight of everything, probably. Mm -hmm. uh, I was talking with... Tim earlier and I went to my first Pride only two years ago and oh. now this year I'm playing the main stage. So it's gonna be so great to create a great first experience for other people coming to Pride for the first time. That like gives me chills, I love yeah. that. Yeah. I love that for you. The song you're gonna perform for us later, I have about 30 seconds left, what yeah. is it? So it's called, I don't remember. It's <laughs> called However I Can is the name there of the song. There you go. I just wrote it, I don't know how it goes or what the name of it is, it's fine. What's the message in the song, if you remember? I do, actually. <laughs> uh, 
So the point of the song is realizing at some point that you were in love with somebody that was just a friend originally, mm. and realizing that what you are happiest about in life is that you got to love them however you could. <gasps> oh, you can all feel that chills again, It's going to hit you. It's going to hit you. Because we all been there. <laughs> all right, if you want to know more about Maggie, there's the Instagram right there. Please, please, please follow, and don't go anywhere because you're going to hear this amazing performance coming up. Uh, and Tim, you know, everybody that's working over at Charlotte's Creative is always working their buns off, so give them a follow as well. Thanks for always introducing us to the coolest people. I mean, this is, <laughs> this is a privilege. I mean, Charlotte's stages are popping with amazing local talent all the time. Go out there, find one, listen, and pay them. And right. pay them. And, and wear a sweater vest because <laughs> that's what all the cool kids are doing right now. I mean, my goodness, Jorge, they match perfectly. <laughs> that's awesome. What a joy. I can't wait to hear that song. That's awesome. Me too.